So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a pulse width modulation board that I worked on and I've shown pictures of it but it really doesn't do any justice until you see actually what it can do. Um, this here I have a, a remote control car with me that's like an old RC car from like the 1980s. I had this when I was a little kid and if you look at the GPS robotics video one of the big problems you have with a lot of the pre-built um, robotics platforms is that they're not very uh, rugged I guess you would say and as you can see I'm out in the middle of nowhere, um, <laughs> so it helps to have something rugged to be able to do testing with. You can say, you know, this is a little bit lame because he's got a USB cable that needs to be hooked up to a computer. And I'll admit, yeah, it is lame, um, but think of if you got an ultra-portable laptop and you hooked it up with this, then you'd suddenly have Wi-Fi capability um, and you could control this thing remotely. And if you extended that to the Flash client, then you could control it via the web. Um, so... Let's take a look and show you what this can do. So anyone that's used an RC car is familiar with this. This is the RC controller um, and it uses eight AA batteries and it goes through them pretty quick. So you'll be happy to know that we're going to get rid of this and we'll just use the computer. So let's take a look. Whoops. It's kind of hard to control it just through the computer. Whoops. Well, anyway, I've got it set so it doesn't go too fast, um, but you get the general point. So thanks for checking it out.